having a systematic way of assessing this is very important. So we think about adductor related pain, the tests that I think are most useful that are palpation. So if we bring the athlete's hip into a little bit of extra orientation and just let them sit nice and relaxed, we can palpate through the adductor region. You'll feel a fairly obvious firm tendon, the adductor longus tendon, and we can palpate that tendon and follow it right up onto the bone. So where that attaches onto the bone, the enthesis, that's usually the most provocative place. So if the patient has tenderness there, that again reproduces something like their presenting pain, then we're starting to think this is probably adductor-related pain. The other test for adductor-related pain that I think is very useful is a squeeze test. So it measures adductor strength. So we can measure that test in a variety of different positions. So I think measuring an extension is important. So Jesse, I'm gonna hold your hips apart. I would like you to squeeze your heels together as hard as you can. Hard as you can, go. So if the patient has pain or weakness with that movement, then I'm starting to think again, this is adductor related pain. Another position which can be useful is with the knees flexed to 90 degrees. Fist in between the knees, can you squeeze there hard as you can? Adductor related pain.